exactly to know the length of the chain. And, and we turn it to the If I put the axis here, you here. The essence of the ninjutsu chain. And the biggest challenge is acceleration. Here I'm open. So this is the next challenge. Come back quickly to the center. One, two, one, two. Three. Here, he neutralized my working range with the chain. Okay, so now we're in Kansetu Vaza, grappling range. So this is the third challenge. How to do here, what to do here. Okay, so use the hands, open this. Punch. Perfect. The chain is good for high level of violence and also low level. When the opponent is close to me and I do grappling, I can break everything in his body with the chain, but I can also control it. If the opponent stands in front of me, okay, then I can knock him out, no problem. But I can also just hurt him. So I have a lot of spectrum, okay? A lot of spectrum. This spectrum makes this special. Because with a knife, to have a big spectrum, I have to be very, very good. When I take out a knife in a street fight, the result can be one. Okay? When I take this in a street fight, oh, many results. All controllable by me if I'm good. For high level of violence, I don't need to know anything. Just the beginning, acceleration and deacceleration. High level of violence, whoosh, that's it. On the head, that's it. No need for anything. I can always go to high level of violence. High level of violence, low expertise. If I use low level of violence, if I just don't use violence, it's high level of expertise. I have to control my emotions and my body. I have to know more techniques to do low level of violence. This is why I love the chain. So many possibilities. In ninjutsu, there are many weapons. What is relevant to us now is Bisento, which is a huge blade against riders and horses. Relevant to us now, only artistically. Is a chain weapon that is relevant now? Yes, because you don't need this chain. You can use this or I have my jeans in my backpack. You can use the belt of your jeans. You can use a scarf. You can use a jacket. Today I went to Calondromio market. What is the name of the market? Likey. Likey. And I buy pomegranate. I don't know how to call it in Greek. Okay. Now I go with a pomegranate and a handbag, it's a weapon. I can kill with a pomegranate, okay? The weights don't have to be metal, okay? Also, they can be Lexan or Perspex. Anything or the best thing is high-density polyethylene or Oculon. These are all professional names for those who wish to build, okay? And the system that attaches the rope to the weight is different. Okay, this chain that we all have is too short. 
is good for training, but it's too short. Uh, the regular Akban chain is longer. How long does the chain have to be? We will talk about it in the end. It's uh, personal. Everybody has his own length that he likes. This chain, we made it ourselves, has got double coiled safety pin here. I don't know if we can see it. Can we zoom? Yes. It's a double coil. The chain links are soldered, soldered, okay? Shut. The problem spot is here. You must check this link every time you practice. Because if this link gets tired, the metal gets tired, and it breaks, even today it can be, okay? Then you've got a 200 grams flying in 50 kilometers per hour, okay? And it will meet somebody, and it will be a very bad injury. So always check the chain. This is why in the new model of the Akban chain that we make, we use Kevlar rope, because rope is stronger than chain. Please notice that even this, if you do something not controlled, you can take somebody eye out or injure him. Be careful, don't do it. At the beginning, always train with a rope. This rope, I can knock somebody out with this rope. Later on in the movie, I cut to what we can do with just this rope. With this, I can kill. Okay? So, if you use weights, you must never work with your back to the entrance, okay? You do this, suddenly a small kid come, you will injure somebody. The shoulder must be very strong and flexible for it. And it is very tempting, temptation, okay? Very tempting to do one, two, maybe do a little and tomorrow do more, and next week more, and in half a year, this will be like your talisman. Something you put in your belt, or around your neck, and then you have a strong shoulder. Because if now, today, you do a lot, tomorrow, when I say hello, you say hello. From right to left. Let's call it do in Japanese. So we do one, two. What do we do with the acceleration? With acceleration, we use the body to deaccelerate. If I don't use the body, this happens. This happens. So I use the body. Use the body. Again, use the body. Use the body. So let's do it together, please. One. Two. One. Exactly to know the length of the chain. Use the body, use the body. Use the body, use the body. Now, why do I hit with the end of the chain? Of course, please close your eyes. I can do this and hit around. Yeah, it's perfect. But if I use this weight and hit him here, it will return to me. Especially if he block it or there is something. If I do this, Okay, I get the chain back in my head. So I want to hit with the end. Okay, so this is a different length. And I just do it very carefully. Because I want to feel how long my chain is. Then I can do this, don't worry, and knock his nose off. Because I know exactly. So what will hit the opponent? Usually, just this. If I hit like this, not good. Usually, just this. So now, in front of each other, you just work. And notice that I do it fast, and it will not hit me. OK? Please try. So we have this direction, very easy and we learn something very important. <laughs> Everything has to be around an axis, very close to me.
because if I put the axis here, I get here. So it's not good. If I put the axis here, you here. Okay? Then we put the chain like this. Of course, we can start with other Kamai, but it's good. And I hit here. Again. Again. Now uh, we can start with something new. Because I put the chain, put the chain, put the chain, down. Now uh, notice I can catch the chain. Okay? Even if it's fast, I can catch the chain. Why? Because at the end, I stop the, the, the acceleration. So it has no acceleration. And I know how long the chain is. Okay? And even if I do not catch it, nothing happens. Okay? I know the chain, I can feel it, and I can catch it. And it, it allows me to meet the second challenge, move the chain quickly to the front. Okay, so now I hit and return to ready position. Hit, return to ready position. If I use this, I hit. Okay, so if it's against a person in the street, do not worry. And this slowly. We'll knock him out. No, it hurts. It hurts. And it was very easy. It's a, it's a knockout. Even with the rope, with the chain, I wanted to film the chain against the coconut. So I put the camera, and I put the coconut, and I do this, and it blew up. So I got full of coconut juice, so you will not see it on YouTube. Okay? <laughs> but it's very strong. It's very strong. So we have a new thing to practice. Please, without this, just you stand, very important to do it against somebody, not in the air. I know the distance, so I can just do this, and it does not hurt. Let's go. Let's look at uh, another movement. Please come, my friend. So if I want to do the jab cross of the chain, I do once, okay, so let's say it's the jet, and the cross cannot be this, it's, good. it's okay, when I do urashte with the chain, it's okay, but it's not strong, okay, it's not strong, it can make him pain, okay, it will not knock, it will not knock him out, this way, this way, but this not, why the direction? Because this is good only, okay, with the sword. Because of it's not very forceful. You take an axe and you try to cut a tree here like this, it can take you many hours. Here, much more strong. So what do I do if I want to overcome the second challenge of the chain? I want to return the chain to the action. I do helicopter and Yokoman. This is. We call it omoteshto, but actually it's yokoma. To the head, obliquely from the side, so yokoma. And to the other side, I don't do this yokoma. What I do is one and two. So this is very strong, this. So I have one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, and I have one. One, two, one, two. Let's work. Now I have one and two. Now look, when I want to stop the movement, I use my waist. Because I have a lot of acceleration. I want to stop the acceleration. I can also stop the acceleration with this, with the hand. It's not a mistake, but it's not the best. This is something Gabi Sensei just uh, showed me, okay? 
is like when you do this, it's not the best. It's the best to block with the body. So if I put my back to you so you can see, use the body. Use the body. Okay? I have to twist. So it teaches me also good movement? Yeah. Of course, you have to do the tsuki. Everything is good if the taijitsu is good. Hoko. Okay? One. One, two. So one, I block the acceleration, catch, lift, two, change direction, or not change direction of the legs, doesn't matter, but move the waist free. So, omote shito, omote shito, omote, omote, omote. Helicopter, block the energy. Prepare. And, and just deliver it to the hand. To the hand. To the hand. Why do we use this? Again, from Jogo de Pau. If the opponent stands like this, even if I have a chain, he can do this. And he drops. And do this. If you do this, it's not. Just block like that. So he gets hit really bad in the hand, and the chain is of no use. Okay? Again, what are the challenges? I use a lot of acceleration. It's not all the time the same. So I accelerate. So if I want to hit him, and he's standing like this, here I will lose the chain. Okay? He will get the chain. So he is not a pencil pusher, he is a warrior and he will finish it because I'm holding a useless weapon now. Okay? Useless. I can do nothing with it. He will so what I want to do is hit him. Because and this is where I use this. So if the opponent stands like this, he wants to catch the chain, he sees the chain, I will hit him from underneath. To block this, he has to be an expert. This. Straight to the face between the hands. So, here, and return, and return. Here is where we don't want to hit the opponent. Please come, my friend, with the rope, with the rope. And you hold it like this, okay? You can hold it even like this. So, I just want to do something that will not endanger my opponent, okay? Remember, who do I want to prove myself to? I want to prove myself only to my partner. And what do I want to prove him? That he can trust me. Even higher because it's to the face. Okay, and then I, you see? And again, just to judge the distance. And return it to the hand. And, and return it to the hand. Two, three, one, two. One, two. Okay, again. One, two. One, two. And lift. 
One, two. When I do this, I will catch. If I don't catch, it doesn't matter, okay? Because I did not get hit by the chain. Hold. Let's go. One, two, three, and again. Okay, from here. And again. I want to do it with a real chain. One, two, three. Okay, and again. Stand, here, strike, strike. Everything is in your back pocket. So I just put my hand in the back pocket, take it out, that's it. Okay, well, take my hand, take it out, okay? From here I use my waist, okay, this. And then I got back here, okay, so one, Okay, so this can be two places. To the face, no help, no need to do more. Okay? So you get one to the face, and then another to the face. Okay? Even without the check, one, finish. But if I want to control, then one, two, two here. Yeah? One, two. And then from here, control. chain I can do an extension of the grip one two and now what I do nothing I just take him and put him with the chain not with the head so he hurts me and I hit he hurts I can do this Extension of the hands, just for gravity. And shock him. I will make it more and more fast and then more and more. Fast. Okay? One, two, three. This is to the face. But obviously, because we have one more hour in front of us, I don't want to break his jaw. Okay? I have to earn his respect. So I just do this in front of his face. Then I do this, and then I do this. And then I do this. Again. I don't have to do this. I can just punch. Punch. 
and again the technique. Punch, other side, punch, and punch, and Sometimes the problem is I want to quickly release the chain. Now, the arc of this movement is sometimes too slow because it, it, it is too slow. This arrives. It is very strong, but sometimes it is slow. I want to reach the target faster. When? Sometimes when somebody attacks me with a knife. I don't have time to hit even the hand. So I just want to release the fast one, and this fast one will help me build distance. Then so now we learn three strikes, okay, with the chain. And I, I show them one by one. First of all, for these strikes, I need to have the both ends of the chain in my hand. One way to do it is this, okay? It's one way to do it. I just move it and yeah. from here I can throw. So this is what I do. I gather the chain and I throw. But there is an easier way. I can just take these two together. When I do this, okay, I take these two together. When I do this, I put this together. So if I use this, uh, where do I get this? First thing I have, I hold both hand, both ends together. I forgot to show something. I always uh, the ambulances is for you because you smoke so much. No? Hope not. Okay, many ambulances down. Did the road. I okay. Like yeah, he does all the time. Uh, he does it, so I'm not worried. When we were small uh, children training in Durham, we had a bet. If I can roll from the bus station <laughs> to Doron Dojo, it's uh, maybe 10 minutes walk and then maybe 20 minutes rolling. <laughs> so I win the roll, but uh, the jacket is completely, <laughs> completely gone. I hold the weight here. So if I have a different weight, I, I bring it just a second. For many reasons I don't like this style of uh, okay but one of the reasons is, is I cannot catch it. So when I do this and throw this is not uh, strong enough for me. Some people say to hold like this but for me it's very bad. Research it but for me it's very bad. It's not safe enough. So I hold it with three fingers all the time. So even if I okay Collect and I throw three fingers always hold, always. Next, if I use a chain, not a rope, when I throw, I want my hand to be like this. Why? Because if I throw and my hand is like this, the chain, when it does this, it will break the finger. How do I know it? I know. It. Okay? It will break the finger. It hurts a lot. So what I want to do is when I throw, point the hand like this. When I throw, point the hand like this. Now, what kind of throws do we have? We have three. We don't have a lot of time, so we do the three together. It's not a big problem. First one is the tsuki. Now, it's not a powerful punch, but with the chain, it can do a little damage to the face. If it's in the eye, of course, it's good. but. It's not an exact science to hit the eye with the chain, it's a matter of luck. If it hits the face, it's not a knockout. So this. Everything is on good taijitsu. Tsuki. Second thing is, I collect urashito. Third thing is omote. And let's change direction so everybody can see. Tsuki. Ura and Omo. 
now because I hurt him, now because I was not professional, I try to be far away so I will not hit him again. You must be very careful. To earn the respect of your uke, you must be professional. Okay? Again, whole body, and then whole body, and then again whole body. So the arc that I do is not this, it starts from here. Okay? It starts from here. Maybe if we bring a, a punching. Just to show the mechanics. Okay, that's it. That's it. This, uh, like I said, at the end. Okay? And you see, it's not so strong. It's not these. Okay, or these. No. It's, it's less strong. But still, very good. This. Okay? Very good. So, omotishto, collect, urashto, and skip. One, two, three. In my hands. But it closes in to over under. It's the worst case. Why? Because I have to take care, first of all, of my position. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, stop. No, just put the hand here. This is not a good uh, position for you. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Try to stand correctly. Ah, now you stop. Now stop me. Don't let me do this. That's it. You see? Mm -hmm. Now that the legs are like this, it's more natural. If the legs are opposite, it's not natural. Tomorrow we do some kicking just for this. Just for this, okay? So now here. And you can... What do I do here? I just do this. Do not compromise your position. Because if he's a wrestler and he gets you into over-under position, you don't have a lot of time. You, don't, you cannot do kujikiri behind his head. Okay? Because he will throw you to the floor. Because the position is stronger than submission. First of all, this is the position. Stand. Don't let him throw you. Be wary. But then you have the chain. What can you do with it? Many things. Many, many things. But we do the basic one. One, two, three. Okay, over under. Grab the chain. Okay, grab the chain. Let's go. The veteran asked what happens if he stands big, big like this. So I cannot. So it's no problem. It's no problem. Why? Because just stand very big, okay? That's it. What I do is I don't go here. I stand first of all position, yeah? Then I take. It's, it's Another thing I can do is I can use a dental floss, <laughs> but it is not a floss. You know dental floss? Mm -hmm. It is not a floss. Okay? And it is not the teeth. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so it's simple. <laughs> Just to do this, <laughs> especially with the chain. And the guy doesn't have any problem with the teeth for many days. Use the hands, open this. Punch! Punch, punch! We alternate between punching, opening distance, and hitting. Okay, so one, two. Punch, hit. Punch, hit. Punch. And hit. Okay? And I can just push and hit. Why do I like this? Because as a nice person, I don't have, I'm not saying I'm a nice person. I'm saying as if I was a nice person, okay? If I was a nice person, I don't want to kill him. It will kill him. 
but no problem, I can put it here on the muscle here. If somebody wants to feel it, no problem. I will not do it very strong, but I can make it so that you feel this very rich thing with the rope. With the espresso cup, coffee, too much coffee is not good for us, okay? So just this is the best, okay? Because I don't feel any problem just doing this and finishing. And this will finish, okay? So use the hands. Open this. Punch. Punch, punch. Punch. And now you know that what we did before is the basis of this, because we punch. OK? Punch. I have to lift. OK? And punch. And absorb the energy. You don't know it. You will punch. You do this and get hit. Not so good. Punch or push, create distance, hoko, block the acceleration. So in Akban we use seven times. Okay, seven times. But we usually learn three. I think you learn three times. We repeat this three times and learn some more today. Okay, so first timing is, uh, I do it first. Is done. Tsuki, just to unbalance him, it will not knock him out. And then, low level of high level, or high level of high level, sorry. Okay, so Tsuki. Punch two, and punch and end everything. So remember, it's one of the principles of working with the chain, short distance. In short distance, I have two ways to use the chain. One of the ways, let's do it to feet. Okay, it's okay, you can get it. Yeah? There's not that to it's a jet, but it's okay too, but do it to feet. Okay, is use the chain as a bridge. Okay, as an extension of the head. So it's one way, and he attacks. And I have many things to do, okay? You did. He attacks. And then I can use the chain, just like uh, I don't have the chain. So here we have a combination of the whole thing, but I'm teaching second timing. What is second timing? After he attacks. So if he attacks, jab cross, jab cross, okay? And the second time, after he attacks, I return. So one, two, and And here, one, two, either knock out or punch him in the chest okay enough to shock him and then look and pull again catching uh, many problems with one technique. The chain is a good weapon against a knife. But, but, not a surprise knife. So if I walk in the street and he comes behind me, the chain will not save me. Only the other way. Okay? And maybe, not even me. So, uh, just have some perspective what the chain can do. What the chain can do is give me a lot of space. Okay? A lot of space. Especially if I have a chain, not like this training rope, but with weights. And we said the weights at the end, from 150 grams to 200 grams. Did somebody do the calculation? Okay? 250 grams at 50 kilometers an hour. How many joules is it? It's homework for everybody. Next seminar, next year, learn, learn the, the answer. Press me with the knife, and then I punch. Okay? And remember this on the face. You want to show. Throw the exactly for this. 
So to keep one, to keep two, okay, and just two. Okay, so for timing, okay, so it's for timing. So it's very simple. For timing is about deception. I do something to attract his attention, okay, like this. So I don't have a lot of violence, just use my energy. And we have another example of the ingenuity of the old systems. Okay? To decipher this ingenuity, we have to do a lot of work, a lot of cutter. So now we think for time. Oh, it's very interesting. Why? Because we see it in Kunokata. Okay? So if you attack me with a tsuki. Yeah. It's for time. Okay? Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Hagler, four times. Okay? Four times. Four times. Okay? Four times. Simple. Okay? Bruce Lee, four times. You do this, you do this. So now, just a short repetition. One. And one. And if you hit, doesn't matter. Okay? So slowly we get into four times and we see it's a big thing because I can do fourth and fifth timing using many devices in the car. So now it's like something external, okay? I do this and this. It's just like a boxing, I do this. Okay, and I have something here or here. No, this is something that is only one part. In Ninjitsu, we have many devices for fourth and fifth time. So for me, it's very important. If I'm cool, by the way, it's not a given. It's not a prerequisite. Sometimes I cannot be cool. But if I'm cool in fighting, so many opportunities. Open. Okay, because if I'm not good, it's like this. And then we see fights, don't worry. Then we see fights, it's just like two uh, bulls. Back. Back. And of course, not with the horns, but with punches. So you get in, go, and out. And you get in, and out. So we see this kind of uh, randori. It shows a lot of courage, but not good technique. Okay? Because all the time it's power against power. And if everybody's punching, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But if you use the timing, you have a lot going to you. There are many good examples in YouTube of people they don't learn in Jitsu. So what? They're so good. They do the timing, okay? And then they win the fight. So if you're cool enough to do fourth timing, you almost win a, a good fight. I don't want to imitate punching. I just want to learn the technique. So what you do is one, two. One, two. Very slow. One, two. One, two. It's just like I'm in a boat and I row with the boat. Okay? And again. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, front leg, two, front leg, one, and two, and one, and three, okay, again, one, two. So forget about this, because it's too advanced now, we do it in two seconds, right now, we want to come back and do the beginning a little bit more methodically, method, 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 okay, so you've got many opportunities of Wing Chun here and Nin Jitsu, but they have to be behind correct technique. One, two. First the hands know what to do, then the whole body. Hit, move aside. Hit, move aside. Let's go. Opponent strikes with a chicken. 
So I use this an extension. We already learned it. It's a principle. Okay? Then I do one. One roll, two. When I do this, I do two things. First, I bend the elbow. Then I punch him in the face. And then I can do onikuda. Again. Okay. Now I have to punch him in the face, why? Right? Because I did it so fast that it's natural that he make the hand straight. So I had to punch him in the face. So I really hit, not hard, I really hit. Okay, I don't want to punch again. just about the movement. Back, outside, this. Do I use punching? Yes. Do I use extension? Yes. He attacked me with its feet. And I tie his hand. Again. Okay. That's it. From here I can go do Mushadori, do many things. Okay, and I kick because I don't want to trust just this and I pull it in. Catch, kick. That's it. Enough. Many, many things can happen from here. Oh, be careful. But what we did is just enough. Catch the hand, hit him, pull him. Opponent punches me, I go back again. Okay, and again. First thing, uh, like uh, in Taijitsu, I don't want to just rely on this because maybe I do this and he does this and I get knocked out. So I want to do this, Tai Sabat. And, okay, I tack with this. Take the elbow and break. Again. Let's go. Punch, yes. Punch. Like this. We return to the first technique we did. So it's like I don't have any chain at all. I just a boxer. But suddenly I have the chain. This is why we have to learn many aspects of the chain. Okay, because there are many things to do with the chain. He comes here, also here, okay? But high level of violence. Okay, he comes in the chain, also weak, but very high level of violence. But to do this now is low level. And I punch and take him. Thank you. 
So what is this? Is this? Okay. Just touch it. I tell you when you do it first. Not now. Saba. Thank you very much, Rob.